Welcome back, my shifty little rabbits. Ah, uh, it hurts, but it hurts so good. <laughs> ah, yes. My next guest doesn't turn 18 until next month, but she's already a star, having earned a Golden Globe nomination for the film 13. Her new movie, Pretty Persuasion, opens this Friday. Take a look at this. Please welcome the lovely Evan Rachel Wood, everybody. Yeah, I'm a little bit. I think I'm okay. Don't touch me. I'm, and why? It's why too late. Why don't you shake my hand? Why do, I've got some of that stuff, actually. Do you want oh, some God. Of that? Yeah. oh, good. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah no, you're all right. It's, uh, you know, it's the antiseptic thing. I should good. put some on, too. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I, I, you're 18? Not even 18? It's September 7th, so in less than a month. So when did you start acting, then, if you're, like, 18? Uh, uh, four. Four? Yeah, yeah. How did, did, did you know you were acting? My kid is no, four. No, I didn't. I seriously didn't know I was acting until I was about nine. Because my parents are both actors, so it was just kind of this natural kid thing to do. And yeah, and did they, did they give you the checks or what? <laughs> no, I didn't care about that. I didn't worry about that too much. Do you worry about it now? Um, uh, a little bit, because now I'm like, man, I'd really like to go to London right now. Maybe I should do a movie so I can afford that little plane London? ticket over there. Yeah. Why London? I'm in love. I'm in love oh, with Oh, really? Have yeah. you got, are you in London? With, they've got bad teeth, those English boys. You no, no, English boys are great. No. Really? Oh, they're skinny with bad English teeth. Oh, no, 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 they're good. Yeah, no, yeah. I completely fell in love with it over there. It just is the one place I kind of feel at, very at home. Really? Yeah. Why, why do you think you feel at home at London? I don't know. Maybe, you know, something happened in a past life. I got my palm red. Maybe I was, you know... You got your palm red and you were British in a past life. Perhaps yeah. you were, perhaps you, you cleaned chimneys or something. <laughs> yeah, I was a chimney sweep. I thought you, I heard you were moving to New York. I didn't think you were. Yeah, no, I'm going to. Um, well, I'm going to be filming there until uh, end of December. So I just got my first apartment over there. And really? What part of town is it? Don't uh, give the address. But, okay, yeah. right, no. Um, Gramercy Village. Oh, Gramercy, Gramercy Park, not Gramercy Village. It's right by like Greenwich Village. So. Right, right. No, I know, I know where it is. I used to live in the East Village. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scary. <laughs> It's not. It's not scary anymore. It's nice now. It's yeah, nice. that's good. Well, I'm bringing my. I'm bringing my dog Garcia for protection. So you have a my, dog called Garcia. He's like that big, but yeah. What? Well, well, that big? <laughs> yeah. That high off the ground. Too. Yeah, you know he's about. You know, we just about what, there. what kind of a dog is he? La La Laza Apso. He looks like Jerry Garcia. That's why I named him that. Really? <laughs> he's got long hair, like this furry beard. It's awesome. Yeah. Does he? Uh, does he? Uh, <laughs> kind of got that day's look in his eyes. He barks at the wall sometimes. He's yeah, really yeah. paranoid. Yeah. And he eats a lot. <laughs> so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, why are you moving to New York? Because you're, you're, you're an L.A. girl, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I lived here, you know, half my life. And I, I you know, really, I just, I, I've been on the 405 one too many times <laughs> when the traffic. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm done with it. They, they got traffic in New York. I know, but I don't have to drive. You know, I can just sit in the back of the car with my iPod and zone out and just let somebody else. I like the iPod. I've got an iPod. Oh, the fuck. Mine just broke, and I'm devastated. It's like the end of my life. They, 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 they're do. making more of them all the time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All of them. All of them. Listen, uh, this movie, this movie you did, the Pretty Persuasion yes. movie. And now, is it true? And I don't want any wooing here. Did you do a striptease scene in this movie? Yeah, I did. All right, I, I had to do it. Okay. Couple, like twice. What? Now wait a minute. You, you're not even 18. That's, no, that's no. Not right. I mean, I'm not, you know, really taking my clothes off or anything. But I did have to do this kind of like sexy dance, and I was very uncomfortable and didn't really know what I was gonna do. Um, but uh, the director had a rule that if uh, you're ever uncomfortable doing something, the entire crew had to do it first. Wait, the entire crew had to do a striptease? So I got like five grips or something to come over and like do a little sexy dance with their little walkie-talkies hanging off their belts and stuff. <laughs> Tattoos and it was awesome. And then uh, I do, felt totally do these fun. guys dance anywhere professionally? Could I see them? Um, maybe if you go into another Marcus Siega set, that'll happen. Uh, uh, Mar who's Marcus Garcia? Is he the Marcus Siega, the director? Yeah, yeah right, right, right. Is, is, is he American? Yes. Really? And his name's Marcus Garcia. Same as Marcus Siega. Oh, Marcus. Hey, hands off. Uh, <laughs> good, good. No, um. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> So what are you going to do? You're 18. What happens? That means you're going to start driving? Are you driving yet? No, yeah, I'm already driving. Oh, really? Yes. Thanks. What kind of car do you have? I have an Acura TSX right. with my navigational system because I have no sense of direction. Does, oh, does it have a voice? Does it say... Uh, it does. I wish it had your voice, though. I wish I had a cool Scottish guy like telling me to go, no, oh, turn right, turn right. No, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> 
It'll be that. No, because if it was if it was my voice, it'd go. I, I, I don't I, know. I, uh, uh, <laughs> no, you're on your own. Uh, you made your bed. You better lie in it. That kind of thing. So uh, your best, you know, stick with an American that knows yeah. his way around. That's what you want. So what? So what happens at 18 then? You you get to vote, I guess. I get to vote. I know. I was I was one year away this year. It was very frustrating. Yeah. Um, yeah. I get to vote. I get to live on my own. No parents. Oh, so no you're going to live? You're going to live in an apartment on your own mm -hmm. for the first time. Yep. I, I, have you checked? It might be haunted. Stone. I've had haunted houses before. Really? Have you lived in a haunted house? Yes, it's terrible. What, what, what kind of what was it, what was haunting it? Was it a, an maybe entity? it was just my stone paranoid dog? Because I was really just listening to him, and he would bark at the wall, and you know, like be always like. But maybe that was it. Maybe, maybe he was just yeah, stone. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the maybe the dog was stone. <laughs> maybe that's what it was. Dog was stone. You know what? Maybe I've never lived in a haunted house. It's just my paranoid dog. So you, you know you should have it exercised before you go in. I should you know I do actually I put like salt in the corners and things. Does that work? You it might, does. It in does. New York you're going to get roaches. You do that. <laughs> you, know. you can't put salt down. You have to put uh, I don't know what what keeps ghosts away. Uh, I have no idea. No, holy neither. water. Go, holy I'll go water. rob a church or Not, something. Yeah, Run robbing in. a church. Sorry, hang on just a second. I just gotta, okay, thanks. Bye. No, no, no. You don't don't go robbing churches. <laughs> You, you can't do that until you're 21. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. It's lovely meeting with you. Good luck in New York City. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. And right back with Baby Face. <laughs> Please welcome the very lovely Evan Rachel Wood, everybody. Evan Rachel Wood. Five years here. since you were here, I which is amazing because I've only been on the air four and a half. Wow, that's right. No, no, no. It's it's about five years. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I wasn't uh, even eighteen. No. And you told me I couldn't rob churches until I was twenty-one, and I'm twenty-one now. Really? So good news. Yeah, uh, I robbed I my first church. You robbed a church? <laughs> Just for you, man. No, don't don't commit crimes for me. <laughs> That's no. what you wanted. No, no, that's not what I want. I want you to be good. Oh man. <laughs> I uh, wanted to ask you a question, mm -hmm. which is lucky because it's kind of my job. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, that's good. Do you know how your name's Evan Rachel Wood? Yes. Do, do people say Evan Rachel? Do they call you Evan Rachel? No, people like to skip over the Evan completely and, and just, just go, go to straight Rachel. to Rachel, which Re I don't understand because it's my first name for a reason. Right. Like it goes first, so you say it. So first. You say it first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm like, so, but if I was say if I was talking to you and I was going, hey, uh, go rob that church, Evan, Evan Ra Rachel. Why did I say Evan Rachel? Uh, my father says Evan Rachel. Right. But that, that's about it. No, it's kind of more of a southern thing to well, have the two names. Well, I I uh, I used to I worked in a film with Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah, do people call her like Jessica? No. No. Sa Sarah Jessica. They, you got to call her Sarah Jessica. Oh, you have to call her by both. Yeah, yeah. Names. See, actually, I had to call her Mrs. Parker. <laughs> I did, but you do call her Sarah Jessica, and I didn't know. I was just like throwing out Sarahs, like you know, we were friends. Miss we Parker. weren't friends. Not no. at all. Not at all. Not at all, Sarah Jessica. I had to say. So Evan Rachel, how? It, what's the film about then? Well, let's see. Um, I play uh, Larry David's wife. Larry David must be what uh, ninety. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I play a little runaway from Mississippi who ends up living with this stingy old Ebenezer Scrooge kind of character. This is um, kind of like my life, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, my wife is, is younger than me. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Whatever floats your boat, man. <laughs> now, um... <laughs> See, I'm, I'm wondering about this. I was watching this on the monitor. What's the deal with the snake cup? What do you mean, what's the deal with the snake cup? <laughs> it's the kind of cup older men prefer. <laughs> a young man probably would use a regular cup, but young men know nothing Real in the ways of love. Real men drink out of snakes. <laughs> what is that, snake juice? Venom? Snake juice? No. <laughs> no snake juice? Water. It's, it's a cup from the Albuquerque sure. Rattlesnake Museum. It is, it is. No, it's a perfectly normal cup that's fashioned to look like a snake. Uh huh. It's the way that's I compensate. It's perfectly normal. It is perfectly normal. It's the way I compensate for having a small pee pee. Right. <laughs> you know? I didn't really 
nobody needs joke. to know that at all. No, but it's no, a it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. I don't. <laughs> I don't have a small TV. <laughs> Now, so you tell me about the film. What happens in the film? What happens in the film? Now, you marry this guy who's uh, 60? I don't know, however old he is. Um, right. And uh, my mother ends up tracking me down and trying to desperately break up the marriage. Um, it's a comedy. <laughs> yeah, I... I, I ooh, yeah. <laughs> now, are, are you married in your own life? No, no. God, no. <laughs> Marriage is a lovely I'm, institution. I, I've done it many times. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, no, not. I'm, I'm not planning on getting married for a long time. I'm only 21. Yeah, well, you go out. I've got a stuff little... to do. Yeah, well, you, there's plenty of stuff to do when you're married. Trust me. <laughs> what are you doing to my snake? <laughs> I'm just pointing it out. Don't point it out. It points over there. <laughs> is it creeping it out? Is it creeping you out? Do you have a thing actually? About... No. Well, I do have a thing about snakes, but it's much. It's much less scary in person, actually. I gotta say. But it, was it, is it scary on TV? When you take a sip, it looks like it's going to bite your nose off. Seriously. Oh, yeah? Does that excite you? <laughs> <laughs> or does it gross you out? <laughs> Maybe I should get a smaller cup. <laughs> you know, reverse psychology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that doesn't make sense, that phrase, reverse psychology. What does that mean, reverse psychology? As opposed to forward psychology? Exactly. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Forward psychology. Reverse Backward, psychology. Backward, sideways Like you walk psychology. out of the therapist's office going, I hate you, you bastard, and everything sucks, and then you leave? Is that reverse psychology? Well, kind of like, don't push the red button if you want them to push the red button. Oh, that's that kind reverse of thing. psychology. Yeah, so like, if I had a small cup, people would say, oh, he must have no room in his pants for totally, his cup. Totally, totally <laughs> This is an interesting the, time with you, I know, man. I was going to say, Always. this is the most awesome interview we've I mean, ever had on this show. I mean, go see this movie. Seriously. Yeah, no, it's a great movie. I, I've seen it. <laughs> you have? Yeah. <laughs> it really? was great. You were awesome in it. <laughs> so was the other, the other guy, Larry. Larry. He was just here, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. That's why I watched the movie. Because he was coming and I didn't want to not know about his movie. So I watched it and you were there and you were there and you were there. And... <laughs> Really good, really good. Nice. Anyway, we're out of time, so um, there you go.